and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legends of the Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we made our way to the second part, the, the other part of the Lanayru, uh, uh desert. We went ahead and did our trial, we got ourselves some handy dandy claw shots, we're gonna go ahead and use on these things, except for the fact that <laughs> they just jiggle around. And now we gotta go through the sand sea in order to um, find the next dungeon that houses the next flame. So, as you can see, there's a robot here. I wasn't even directly aiming at it, but okay, whatever. Let's fucking go. Having a blast with this series. <laughs> I love that I'm still in the stands like, I'm gonna shoot at fucking nothing, man. I'm having a goddamn blast with this Let's Play, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the... Me enjoying this series. It's really a good game, like, that is really hated down. I will still say this game is really underrated until, like, until, like, a top, like, fucking YouTuber just, like, decides to, like, make a video on, like, why, why, uh, Skyward Sword is perfect and all of a sudden everyone will agree because everyone's fucking bandwagging. Apparently, Shimagami Tensei 5 is getting a lot of hate recently. Apparently, what I've been hearing is that some dude made a video. I, I forget what the fuck it is called. Why SMT5 sucks or something. SMT5 sucks? Let me see. What is it called? Shimigami Tensei 5 is really bad by a YouTuber named Simply Dad. I haven't watched it, but um, I'm not hearing a lot of good things from it. And you know, um, I'm not a Shimigami Tensei hardcore fanboy. I've only played... I've only played the 5th, and now I'm playing through the 3rd right now, and I want to play through, like, some more, because those games are really, really fun to play through. But, um, I got feel I might do- I might react to it one of these days, but, you know. Let's go ahead and continue on and talk about Zelda. Hmm, who are you? Some human. Who am I? I- I'm still refusing to do this- this stuff because it's just kind of annoying. I'm the proud skipper of this ship that protects the neighbor's flame. The, the, the neighbor's flame? Oh, what spot my pants? Um, it was the day of the storm. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. And then those brutes, the pirates suddenly attacked us. They were after the name was flame. My crew was imprisoned, and I was thrown into the sea. And I'm gonna guess you washed up here. I drifted on the current to this port. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship crew could be. I... There was no crew in that sentence, but I said anyway. I bet my hat they turned the ship invisible, and are hiding out somewhere. You can't see it, uh, invisible. In order to protect the neighbor's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. You say you're searching for for uh, neighbor's flame. Oh, so you need neighbor's flame to find someone important to you. In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew. I love that he's just like, like, oh, I have to protect this flame. Wait, you? I just met you, and you want to find a flame? Alright, I'll help you out. Do you help me? I'll help you. Like, you're not, like, treating me with sus or anything? I mean, like, I feel like some person who's, like, tasked of, like, guarding such a sacred flame would be a bit more apprehensive of my, um, sudden wanting of it. But you know it is what it is. If you'll help me, then I guess I'll leave you on my boat. Uh, why not? I don't have anything else to do. Really? Well, in that case... Hmm. There's something weird about the map of yours. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, you need a proper sea chart. <laughs> we're playing fucking, uh, we're, we're playing Phantom Hourglass, uh, Wind Waker again. There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. First, you need to get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we, uh, shove off? Let's go. Alright, let's go. Vroom. I'm, I'm adding that verb, man. Alright. I feel like they could make a sequel to this game based around, like, the sea. But then again, it would kind of remind- it kind of reminds me of Wind Waker and how they had, like, Phantom Hourglass be, like, a sequel, and they still had, like, the whole exploring the sea and, like, like checking out islands and stuff. I don't know. Apparently, uh, Twilight Princess was gonna have, um, a sequel, but they canceled it for some reason. That'd be so cool! Another game- another mainline Zelda game that has a sequel that's not Majora's Mask. My circuit sparked a life in the salt air. Mmm, it feels good to this, take to the seas again after so long. Let's see if I can remember how to navigate. Press L to move, press B to move while speeding up, ready the cannon, and fire. I place an X mark over where the island my house is. 
There's a pier on the island where we can dock. I'll go ahead and put it there. Let's go. I actually like it when, uh, when, like, Zelda games kind of has, like, oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. I, l I like when there's, like, a sequel to, like, a uh, Zelda game. Like, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. That's pretty sick. And then there's, um, uh, Wind Waker and, uh, Phantom Hourglass and, uh, Spirit Tracks. And then they have, um, Breath of the Wild and they have, uh, Age of Calamity and now they're having Breath of the Wild 2. So there's a game with a prequel and now there's gonna be a sequel. I kinda like it. It means, I don't know why, it kinda like, it's, it's cool to think that you're playing as like the same Link who was on a previous adventure now going, now undertaking a new one. I don't know, it kind of feels cool in that way. You're not playing with, like, an inexperienced Link, you're playing with, like, kind of a veteran Link, in a way. Huh. We arrived! My shack is at the very top. How the hell did you climb up there? The sea chart we need is in my shack, but you're the one who have to go get it. There are more monsters about them before, so be careful. I can't wander far from the boat. Yeah, because you have a lifeline. I kind of wish we could explore the ocean a bit more because we can swim. But, um... Okay, there's probably... I think there's like two or three... There's like two, maybe? Um... Things here. Goddess cubes. We've already seen one. But, um... Yeah, we need to be careful. Um... Okay, I see how he got up there by that, but we don't have access to it. So I'm gonna have to, like... Owie. Owie again. Did, did... Yo, what the fuck was that, dude? Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Need, I'm gonna need more of these hearts. Oh my god, this thing sucks dick sauce. Okay, uh, hold on. Okay, so. Ah, I see. Okay, I need to. Okay. Oh, 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 never mind, never mind. I know how to get to that chest. I know how to get to that chest now. I'm just gonna go ahead and take out these little baba fuckers. Easy victory. Alright, um, you're probably wondering what the fuck are these things? And the thing is... I don't know what they're called either. Except for the fact that they're basically... A little lifeline or something that you can use. Oh, damn it. Okay, hold on. I'll just go ahead and like, give this thing a treat. Oh, Jesus. It's a little bit morbid. I didn't know they would actually like suck up the bomb and then they just explode from inside. That's a little bit creepy. Well, not creepy. That's a little bit morbid. Morbidly obese. Um, <laughs> I'm done. Let's hop on in. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to physically die. I, physically die? I, I, guess, I guess you do physically die, because you, your body just dies? I don't know. I don't know death. Okay. Hope I can... Jesus Christ. Okay, nothing there. Oh, okay. Now, we fought, we fought ones with wood shields, and we could normally, um, you know, maneuver o- We could normally just break its shield. But instead... You should have looked more bu better. You should have looked better, buddy. Okay, now I think this will um, allow us to um, utilize shortcuts. Did 
just make sure you, uh... Use them, use them back again. So, I want to get this chest. Because there's probably nothing, there's probably nothing good in there, but you know, I still want it anyway. Easy. Okay, I know how to get to this one. We need to... I remember we got to, uh, get to the shaft. Okay, I remember we could do something interesting with these things if they're... Okay, no, we just have to whip them. Go ahead and make you some nice. Oh, I thought I dropped a red one. Um. Okay. I just stabbed it, but it comes a P hat. That's what they're called. These are called P hats. Okay, these one. This one's gonna be moving. So we basically just do that, you know. There we go, lads. There we go. Um. Oh my god, I remember this one. Okay, hold on. Hold on there, but Buttercup. I made the dumbass mistake and just kept claw shotting it when I played again. D don't don't do what I did. Don't pull on me, guys. Okay, go ahead and run with these fuckers. I didn't even try, but okay. Oh, jeez, these things spit fire. And there's also a a thing here. Uh, okay. Oh, chest. Give me something good to eat. Give me, give me a piece of heart. Red rupee. Treasure. I really like the, um... I don't know, I kind of like this. I like these, uh, cool little, um... Uh, hook shotty type areas. I don't know why. Why do I like these? I... I... didn't even know this was actually possible. Okay. Alright. Open the shack. And then... Now would you look at this? Oh, Jeebus Christ! Okay, um... Up. Oh, Imagine this weird little fucker just like... Climbs and just like grasp your things. Okay, this should be the thing. Okay, this should be this the sea chart. But uh, master, look over there. Uh, over where? Oh, pretty sure that one is a Titanic reference. That is a ship containing the neighbor's flame. There's a 9% chance that the synthetic life forms assembled there are the crew. What are the other tempers said? Just passengers? This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Aww. How cute. Can this thing die for s Christ's sakes? Okay, so uh, apparently the, um, the, uh, boss of uh, the, uh, the, um, Thazir uh, Moldorak um it's like those little baby things with the twist that they've been alive for a thousand years and we've killed a lot of these things now just imagine if they all live to see a thousand 
Yo, we'd be kind of fucked. Imagine if I, like, two of them at once. Like, three. Like, a bunch at once. Like, god damn it. I, I think these... Huh. Good luck at work. Aw, they even had kids. Okay. Now I do know there's there should be there should be a thing. Okay. Are you telling me I could hook shot onto it? Hold on. Let me see this blast mate. Oh my god! I can. So that means I could have got that goddess cube like real quick. Okay. Well, good thing I can go ahead and you know get it from here. Oh my god, I'm actually kind of an idiot. I thought like I needed it to be in the past to you know actually work. But the, but the other cool thing is we can at least use the claw shots when we're climbing on vines and shit. Alright, this marks number three. By the time we'll, uh... Get back and make preparations before the next, uh, dungeon, we should be, uh... Having some fun times with, uh, upgrades. Now... There's that. I'm confident I can get to it from here. Well, not from here. I mean, I just need to climb all the way back up to um, the shack, and then I can go ahead and try doing something with it. All right, I'll be I'll be a minute. Okay, we're back up here. All right. If this isn't a piece of heart, I'm actually going to be very upset. <sighs> Come on, man. I don't really need money. I got, like, tons of those. I literally don't think I need anything money-wise for, for, like, the rest of the game, honestly. Oh my god, this thing's an ass turd. You don't even want to know what an ass turd is, guys. It's it's like when it's both an ass and a turd at the same time. Oh my god, I'm still collecting green rupees. Alright, you got the sea chart. Now we can finally navigate properly. Let's go look for my ship. Shall we set? Set sail. Anchors away. Oh, the sea chart you brought with you. Oop! The shipyard is at this location. Let me mark it for you with an X. Um... I believe we go to the other area later? I don't remember. The shipyard is where we used to build our ships. My ship was built there too. If you go to the shipyard, you might find some clues to the location of my ship. Alright. Well, let's set sail. So, we need to head... Did I put the mark on? Oh, I didn't. Then there's this thing. Okay, I think we actually go there. Can't remember. Ooh. Currently being reminded that, um... The further we go, the more, uh, things are gonna, like, spawn out of nowhere. Doesn't really make sense. How do these, like, things, like... One from the past. I love that I have to like fucking grunt my asshole off just to fire one cannon. Oh my god. Spars are really shit. Pretty sure there's a better path I could have taken, but. Oh no. We got like water ones. Okay, well, fuck these guys. And 
There's some bar goblins. Alright, we're in the next area. Area 3 out of 4. Oh. I have bad memories with this place. Um, There's actually a mini game, and we're looking at it right now, but we'll talk about that later. That I literally spent... Probably like 3 hours trying to do because I sucked at it so bad. <sighs> We've arrived. Um, this is the island where we used to make our ships. You'll find the shipyard here as well as the town where the workers lived. That building is a construction bay. And it's locked. But the entrance is closed. Looks like you can't get in. Each location on the island is linked to the others via a minecart track. You might be able to get to the back door of a construction bay if you can get around to the other side of it using a minecart. And that's what we gotta do. We gotta minecart. We gotta minecart our way through this. There's a minecart station over there. You should head to the station first. I'll wait here. Yeah, you can't literally leave this radius. It kind of sucks. Okay. Making sure I get that. What the fuck is okay, that's for something. I can't really remember. No, the bloopies! Oh, fucking hell. So, then there's some Lizophos. So, yeah. <laughs> Pussy. Pussy out! It's like a boss. Yep, this is this is the thing. Oh, no, you actually here too? Well, while you're doing this, I'm gonna take a sit. Hey, that's my seat. No one sits in the rear on my seat but me. Got it? Alright, I know this is your seat, my guy. I was kind of tired. The station here was used by folks heading to the... Wait! How the hell did you get here? This place is covered by quicksand, and you're fucking made of rocks, so you'll sink quicker than anything else in the world. Like, I was trying to think of something, but I couldn't think of something. The station here is used by folks heading to the old mines. People still ride the, like, ride the mine carts all over the place, though. I'm probably supposed to tell you there is some safety information about using the carts posted on the wall over there. Cart riding can be uh, dangerous at times, so just, just to give that a quick read. Uh, I don't need to. I'm ready for this. So there's like a mini game. Um, okay, uh, I'll just like lean the controls a bit. So basically, um, here we go. You want to, like, lean adjacent to where you're turning, so then you can get boosts. Like so. Oh my god. If you fall, you have to restart. I'm currently getting flashbacks already, because I have, like, an ass ton of money. Come on, keep going, keep going. Keep go. Oop, failure. I just lost a lot of time. Oh, there's actually a... Oh, no, we actually have to climb... We actually have to go through here. Okay. So there's a mini game where we have to do that. God! So many... I'm pest control up in this bitch. Okay, well, we can at least go back here if we want to. But I don't really see why we want to go back unless we get, like, the materials to upgrade our stuff. So, yeah, we there's, like, a, another one here. So, yeah, there's a mini game that will come up after we complete this little ex section. I don't know if it's when we complete the dungeon. But we basically have to um, go across the entire place using the minecart. And try not to fall off and also gain, like, a good speed. Before, uh, before, like, a specific time. And if we make it to that time, we get a piece of heart. Now, I was stuck on this for so long. I had to, like, look up a guide and everything, because I was just like, oh, yeah, maybe I look up a guide for a mini game. Yeah, I... Look. I sucked, okay? Oh, you also want to be careful. You don't want to fall off. Now, how do you jump? Oh my god, this is literally taking years. 
Uh, I'm not... I, okay, I'm gonna try to get through this one when I can, because... I just know if I'm gonna put it off, it's just gonna be, like, just fuckery. And we made it! Uh... Okay, this one I don't really need to do, but... This is gonna be fun. We're here! Master, we have arrived in the shipyard construction bay. With the passing of many years, the structure is filled with sand. I recommend looking in the sand for a clue that may direct you to the location of the ship. That we will. So let's begin. Yup. We go for a round two with none other than Moldorak. Yeah, um, <laughs> a boss now turned to a mini boss. You know, was caught off guard when I first played this, if I remember correctly. I was like, wait a fucking minute. We fought a boss as a mini boss? They don't do that anymore. So, um, yeah, we have to fight this thing a total of two times through the story. And, um, as usual, there's nothing new, new. So basically, just do what you did when you, uh, fought him the first time. But this time you have an upgraded sword, so I guess this- I guess that's why the, uh, developers decided to, uh, throw his ass in again. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn. Oh, he dodged. Okay, it's been a little while. Come on. Oh, shit. I kind of wish I played the boss theme instead of the, uh, the, mi the, the mini boss theme, the, uh, crabbier version of the mini boss. Okay, I know this, this claw takes years to kill. Oh my okay, okay. I'm trying to be fancy. I'm trying to like get a good spin attack every time. Oh, he actually hit me. Okay. This really shouldn't take too long. At least having the upgraded sword, the uh time it's going to take for you to fight this boss from uh, the first time is just going to be like cut in half. So sword deals double the damage. And easy victory. Unfortunately, it'd be nice if this thing dropped a heart container because it's previous one did the same, but no. It just dies and just gives us a bunch of hearts. Master, it will appear that in the many years this factory went unused, monsters have moved in and built a nest. I now estimate that the chance of finding a clue in the sand here as to the ship's location is extremely low. W wow, we did- we basically went here for nothing. That's kind of like the premise of this whole thing, so like... Is it- Is there any point in like, actually just like, go through the sand? Is the sand like, regenerating? Does the sand regenerate? Is it actually regenerating? I think the sand regenerates... Yeah, that sand is... Yeah, the sand piles back up. I didn't know this actually happened! The report master, I calculated a 0% chance that searching further this location will lead to the appearance of a ship. But what about the other 100% Fi? You never thought of that, did you? Your fucking robotic type brain doesn't calculate that. Because of those un substantially unfavorable odds. Well, I'm just going to leave here again. I heard like sometimes Fi will have like some sassy, like, dialogue. Like, if you actually fail the uh, trial so many times, she's like, 
the probability of you being the heroes cho the goddess has chosen one is like becoming extremely unprobable because you suck. So is there even a goddess cube up here? I don't think so. Like I'm actually trying to remember. Like there's literally no other places where we can like do our thing to, so I guess we have to go to the next area. Jeez, this place is a lot shorter than I thought, but I'm thinking this unlocks the minigame? Hey, what are you doing? Well, have a little fun. Fun? Got your attention, eh? <laughs> Let me explain. This here is a race against time. Scream across the finish line as fast as you can. Take your bye to lean your cart. If you lean at just the right angle on a corner, you'll get a nice speed boost. Lose your concentration when you're cruising through a bend, though, and you'll run off the rails. If that happens, you lose the race. So, basically... Yes. Um, I think we need to do the scary one. Actually, hold on. Let me actually take this. Let me actually look at this real quick. Uh, Skyward Sword. Mine, mine carp jump. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, uh, oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. 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 We have to do the heart stopping one, and we need a time of less than a minute and five seconds to get the heart piece. This is gonna be not good because I was like basically at the end of the game, kinda when I I had my sword fully upgraded, and I learned that this was a mini game. So basically. Oh no, okay, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna die. I fucked up. I fucked up. I might as well reset because I literally just lost uh an ass of the time. We got like Okay, we got like an ass ton of money. So that's good. Before I think I only had like two hundred dollars. Now I have like ten uh, I have like a thousand bucks. So, the chances of me completing this before I run out of money is not really high probability. It's not that probable. Oof. Yeah, that I just lost a bit of time. If you're lucky you get a decent time, you can get your money back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I saved a bit of time here. I doubt I'm gonna get my first time, but you know... Yeah, I don't think I'm getting it. Yeah, I fucked up. Does that count? Does that actually count? Mm. Dude, you're fucking cruel. Okay, well... Okay, it's literally... Less than a fucking minute? And five seconds. And on my first time, I got that time. That is fucking cruel. That's like. Oh my god, that's actually so shitty. Like, come on, man. You could have just, like, gave me the heart piece. Okay. It is what it is. Oh yeah, I lost time. I lost a lot of time. I'm losing so much time. I don't think I got this. Yeah, I really failed with my leans. 
Okay, and I think you also gotta, like, tilt correctly, too. Well, I'm confident my next one I can do it, but okay. yeah, I did way worse. At least I get my money back. Alright, I'm going to keep trying until I get the reward, so hopefully this next one will be my... the last one. So I'll see you guys in like a few minutes. If I hopefully get through this. Hey, Third attempt, boys! Nice! That was not really fast, I can't even go that fast. Thank you very much. Hey. Third try. I'll take that. I'll cough that up for a win. Alright. Uh, we still got a bit of time left in this episode. Um, even though it's getting a bit, a bit long. But you guys will see. We're actually very close to tackling on the next dungeon. I want to start that in the next episode. Instead of like doing it in the middle of a... Instead of doing it in the middle of like... The, the episode when we were... You know what I mean. So my ship wasn't here. There's only one place left for us to look for clues. This could be scary, but we have to head to the stronghold of the pirates who stole my ship. Well, let's not waste any time. Anchors away. This is pretty scary. The pirate captain is a mechanical maniac. He's got no shortage of evil underlings, too. I don't want to lay eyes on him again, but if we want to take the ship back, we have no choice. The pirate stronghold is that away. So, what is this place again? I think I might actually know now. Okay. There we go. Tighten on whatever you humans have instead of bolts. Uh, my bone? My, my vagina muscles? You're so weird. Okay, well, we need to head that way. Oh my god. thing is fucking fast, boys. Well, we made it. That was quick. Alright, I think this is actually the last place we need to go to before uh, we take on the next dungeon. Which I want to do in the next episode. Now, the next dungeon is my fav is like one of my favorite dungeons in this game. It's actually probably my favorite all-time dungeon in this game. This is easily as scary as I thought it would be. When you think about it, they should be all dead. The only reason I'm up and, and about like this is because of that time shift stone on the boat. So I have nothing to worry about. I feel better now, Mason. And so it's time for you to go look for my ship. I'll wait here, of course. This shouldn't take too long. Um. Okay, I believe there might be something back here. Nope. Okay. Oh! There, okay. Yep, there's actually something there. I think I remember being completely stumped on this for like, for God knows how long. And it's probably because I just like started looking to see if I could like find a way to the top, but you know. Oh jeez, can you like can you leave me right now? <laughs> Bitches. Okay, well, I don't think anywhere else has anything interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and take on the, uh, the little door. No, I don't want to L target these fucks. Or I guess it's ZL target. Okay, so we basically got kind of a mini dungeon. And basically we need to um, restore power to this area. Let's play playing Call of Duty Zombies again. Master, please take a look. This device looks like it's meant to hold a time shift stone, but there is not, not, not one currently installed. There's a 95% chance that it's the same type of device as the ones we've encountered in the neighbor mines. 
What about the other 5% chance? What if it actually takes us to the future? Signs indicate that time shift stones were used in this facility as a kind of power source. So we know what we have to do. We have to go ahead and navigate through this entire place. Um, which might actually end up turning this into an hour long episode. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe might be better if I end the episode off. And continue on next time because... Oh, wait. I just became amnesic. I don't remember where I'm going. Okay, there's actually, like, things, like, I have, like, questions about for, like, someone with amnesia. Like, they forget who they are, but, like, I don't know. They just, like, forget, like, I, I don't know. They forget who they are, but they still, like, know English. They don't have to be, like, retaught everything. It's just, like, I guess, like, it's muscle memory at that point. Alright, but anyway, um, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Um, in the, oh, jeez, bit of frame issues. So, in the next episode, actually, I think we better if I just looked off here. Because it might look better here. So, in the next episode, guys, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, check out the, uh, stronghold here. And then we might actually take on the next dungeon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, my guys.